Hi, it's me. It's Lynn. Thanks for tuning in. I can't believe you tuned in. Wow! Okay, so just gonna do some makeup. Just play with makeup because it's so fun and I have so much. It's just, I love it. And where else are you gonna go on the internet where you can catch a over 50 woman wearing cat ears? Ah, is a headband. You come to my channel for that because I've had these headbands for years and I'm a fan. So, this tan product, I don't know how it comes through, but I'm not gonna do foundation. So I'm just gonna do my eyes right now. I'm testing out, I'm doing um, Alter Ego's Daydream palette. Uh, it's inspired by Huda Beauty Nudes something palette. There's nothing about Huda Beauty that inspires me to want to put some coin in her pocket. Absolutely nothing. I just, I don't know. There's, you ever get that about a person? There's just like, I, 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 I don't know what it is. There's just something about her that makes me like want to, ugh. Anyway, Alter Ego, their products, they're, they're good. They're, you know, highly rated. Their pigments seem good. And they're like hella cheap and beautiful. I mean, look at this. Look at this palette. Can you, can you see it? Can you see it? You can see my big TV over there. See? No copyright sounds. Can you see it? See it right there? Right there? No copyright striking my channel. <laughs> anyway, they're just beautiful, right? The glitters are glittery. The shinies are shiny. The mattes are matte. Beautiful, you know? So this is definitely a palette I would buy. I just, yeah, there's just something about Huda Beauty. I just, I just can't, I can't even, I don't even know what it is, but it's something, there's something, you know? Okay, gonna start using these guys. You know why? Because I got the saggy baggy skin. So we don't want shadow going over my fake eyebrows. <laughs> All right, I have to take it off 10 time magnification, you know, because every time I look in there, I get scared. Wrinkles look like cavern canyons. Pores look like, I don't know, deep holes in my soul. There. Yeah, I think, ugh. Okay, now it's gonna be hard to blink my eyes, but that's okay, out of mind. All right. So let's get these bad boys on. Okay. And I know in makeup there's a saying that no two eyebrows are the same. They're sisters. You can never get them close up. They're not identical. Well, I'd like to go as far as saying that about eyes and skin. There's nothing on the face that's actually purely symmetrical unless you've been hacked at by a plastic surgeon. That's my belief. That's my belief. I believe it. So... You cannot fault me for my belief, because it's IMO, in my opinion. All right, for primer, I'm gonna try, I have a tester of Anastasia of Beverly Hills, um, eye primer, lid primer, whatever it's called. So let's try it. Ooh, ooh, feel that, oh, oh wow. Wow, 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 holy cow. They could have made this a color, oof. Wow, a little bit goes a long way. Holy macaroni. Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay, Anastasia. Jeez. Holy cow. Okay, so we're going to do it. Oh, a way smaller amount on the other eye. Wow. Oh my God. See, I'm used to, when you're using the um, NARS pot or the MAC pot or any of the other putty pots, it's not like, oh my God, this is like, holy cow, a little dabble, do ya? Back in the 70s, that was a saying for, I, I don't know, some kind of hair gel for men, a little dabble, do ya? Sounds like I'm Fred Flintstoning it, right? Hey, abby dabba do. Holy cow. That is some, oh, and it's coming out. No, I don't wanna waste it. Come on, go back in the tube. Go back in the tube. Okay, that just made more come out then. Oh. oh my gosh. I don't want to waste primer. Okay, let's let's double prime. Double prime. 
This color, dang, so good. Oof. It's gonna make these colors pop like mad, like pop rocks. All right, I, I have to, I have to waste. I hate wasting. Oh my god, I had to waste it. It spreads so easily. I mean, you hear butter? Ugh, melted butter, room temperature butter. Oof. Wow. Do you see this? Not. Ooh. Not mad. And hopefully, let's hope that it's crease proof. Wow, that's smooth. Oh, the dry down is, wow, wow, wow. Okay, no wonder, no wonder my European comrade get them lots of money for her makeup because she make a good quality product. Oh my God, dry down like that, holy. If I can remember, next time I'll upload a video after I wear this all day, I'll let you know how it worked out, but dang, good stuff. Okay, I wanna make this fast. Okay, so we're gonna do the Daydream palette. What are we gonna do as a base? I'm not gonna say names of colors because I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read. I can't see. Okay, so there's this lovely, lovely brown on the very top of this brown right here. So I'm going to go in, and this is going to be right above the brow bone. Do, do, do. <laughs> you know, it has gorgeous hair and matching. It's, it's weird. Her, her makeup matched her eyes. Janelle Pierza from Big Brother. She just got voted off. If you look at the E.T., Maybe it's ET Canada. I don't know. It's an ET interview. And I think it's titled Why She Can't Stand Nicole F. But if you check out her hair, I mean, I love that color. I strive for it once once in a great while. When I when I tone it, I'll get that that nice ash grayish color. And it only lasts for maybe a week and I, cause I don't know what I'm doing and if I could make my hair like that forever. Reminds me of champagne. But her look, how she got her eye makeup to match her hair, unless they were using a filter. It's like, dang, just perfect. All right, so it looks brown in the pan, but it's coming out mauve. Mauve. Watch the name of it be mauve, and I'm just. <laughs> I just can't read. I don't want to put on my eyeglasses. Hey, babe. Why yes. Huh? It's okay. It don't matter. I'm not a professional. I'm talking about this woman on Big Brother. Well, she's I'm mean, older than her, but she's got really gorgeous hair color and makeup color, and she managed to make her eyes match her hair. And I just thought that was insane. It's gorgeous. Now it's not purple or blue. She's a blonde. I just don't know how she did it. I wonder when you get older if you're, how you see colors changes. I think it's a distinct possibility, right? Okay. All right, so what would match that? I thought that was brown. All right, well, let's try something that actually looks like mauve. Do it on an angle brush, and we'll go put it darker into here. So we'll choose this one. Pikachu, I choose you. <laughs> kind of moment. I don't know. I'm going to take it. Bump, bump. Okay. Stab yourself where the eyeball goes. Stab, stab, stab. Keep your eyeballs open. Keep them open and gentle, gentle, gentle. So every time you do this, you're creating wrinkles and fine lines, whether you like it or not. Now, all you youngins, when you get my age, you're gonna be super wrinkly if you don't pay attention and do it as gentle as possible. I'm telling you. 
all these lovely gurus, makeup gurus, and people you follow, you don't see them at 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So trust me. Trust me. I'm someone who's done her own makeup since the 70s. I think I started in 79, playing with makeup and foundations. We were poor as anything, so. Uh, I'd use my mother's makeup that she would use for work, or any any anyone who could get their hands on makeup, we were playing with it. 70s and 80s wasn't a really big makeup time. It was really natural. I mean, look at Farrah Fawcett. It was all about the hair. It was all about the hair. Farrah hair. Farrah Fawcett had her own shampoo and conditioner. I loved using it for a while. And she was the Wella Balsam girl. I just take my conversations all over the place. My daughter pointed that out yesterday. She said my nephew pointed it out. She's like, Tristan's right. Your content is all over the place. I have one odd stray I I I know eyebrow lash hair it's a hair okay oh my gosh this primer though oh it makes everything it's so nice I love it okay so let's make it a little bit deeper in here we'll come right into here See how saggy baggy the skin is? That's age. Well, you know what? It's also inherited, like I, I've said many, many other times. Hollow. Okay, so if I look at someone, will they see two colors? Maybe. So we're gonna do it here, and here we're gonna leave that white spot. I'm not doing a halo eye. You know why? Because I don't know how to tell to. But I can tap and pat. That I know how to do. Oh. Okay, ready, 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 ready. We'll put some here. And we'll just put some here. Okay. Oh, I know. Let's bring some underneath. Can we? Oh, maybe. Well, I think the white thing, the eye shields. I think the eye shields are doing their job. <laughs> Um, no, Mrs. C, you can't go further. Okay, we like that then. Okay, so let's just make sure we have that white. Okay, we have that. All right, I'm gonna go back into that what I thought was brown, and a little bit more higher. And blend it in, circle, circle, circle. We want to see that we have two different shadows there right so you'll be looking in your own mirror and seeing how it looks how you think it looks this I'm not going as hard as you see the makeup people do it again because saggy saggy baggy if I hit the lottery oh I would so get surgery on my eyes okay and I'll use some of this after I take these off. I'll put that brown color underneath there. All right, now, dun, 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 dun. I want to take one of these nice shimmer, shimmer shades. I think I'm going to use this one right here. No, no, no. Okay. Um, 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 um. All right, this I think is a packing brush. I don't know, okay? I'm not an, an MUA, okay? So I'm just going to lightly tap it in and put it right in the middle of my eyeball come on color is it coming through well it's a little bit the other stuff is straight up I stuck my fingers and it. it is straight up glitter and the only problem I have with that is the worry that if there, it's metal glitter and I put on the magnetic lashes that you know what's gonna happen lashes are going to stick to my eyelids again. Nobody likes that. It's not fun. Okay, I'm already 14 minutes into this, so I'll probably do the magnetic lashes as a second part. Okay. Come on. 
come on. I wanted a better color payoff than this. Hmm. Okay, so what I will do now is let's remove these guys. Ah. Okay, and let's let's try a little bit of the colored. Let's pop it on underneath the second shade we put just for a little bit of shimmer and glitter. Oh, that looks terrible. Oh my gosh, it really does. Hmm. Okay. So let's go back to this one in this color and we'll just put it under here and up here. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to try this. Okay. There we go. Finger. There. Oh, that, that's much better. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Those are the eyes. I'm going to come right back and I'm going to do some magnetic lashes. So I will see you in like five, four, three. Well, actually, it's, I probably won't upload it per week. So it's continuation. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. These are the eyes. Yes, if you have any questions about these, just ask them in the comments section and I'll answer. I always do. I'll look at it and I'll say, okay, I know it. I know it was this one. And I used this color, this color here, and this color here, and this color right there. So I can look up the name with a magnifying glass. Anastasia of Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Comes in a bottle. No, not a bottle. A tube. Looks like this. Works wonderful. And then the Kat, Kat, Kat Von D, which is now KVD. Vegan Beauty. Taupe. For the eyebrows. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Oh.